710 ESPN Seattle presents Bob and Graz's One More Thing. Powered by the law offices of Heidi Hunt. Oh boy, Carlos Guillen! Did it. Yeah, he chuckled a little. He's so bit. easy. You can't feel like you're funny. He does it to everything. I can feel like I'm funny if I want to, but he you're right. He can't be your gauge. I can get I can get him on a laugh and <laughs> and look. No disrespect to the guy who had the greatest drag bunt in Mariner history. That is true. He did have the greatest drag bunt in Mariner history, didn't he? I would I would say unless maybe the one that Lenny Randall tried to blow fair, but that wasn't a Mariner bunt. That was another guy yeah, who did that. Bunt. That was the opposing team. Well, I guess the White Sox to win in the playoffs, of course, was part of the Randy Johnson deal. Was friends with Freddie Garcia. Has was traded away from the <laughs> Mariners. I, I like that you put that as one of his attributes. Was friends with Freddie. Well, it was it was a it was a good house. Remember that. The, those he, were, he they, were young. John they were young guys. They were playing well. The Mariners were winning games. It was a good time. And then, uh, and then Tony Phillips took him out at home plate. Well, and the, the terrible trade. He went to Detroit, where he actually has played well. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, have we mentioned his name yet? Carlos Guillen. Okay. Oh yeah, I mentioned it right at the beginning. Carlos Guillen he played well, and then has struggled through injuries for the past couple of years. And now, at the ripe old age of 36, uh, signs a minor league deal to play for your Seattle Mariners. He's had a total of nine home runs in the past two seasons. I think three of those bomb, three of the bombs came last year. They did. He hasn't played more than 81 games since 2008. And look, and re re realistically, this is all you're talking about for him. I mean, he plays now, since he's left here, uh, Detroit had him at third, at first, at second. He's played Short. left field, he's played right field, of course, started shortstop. So. If he makes the team, which is what a minor league deal is all about, he'll be it, our fifth starter. <laughs> Actually, he might be. But, you know, he's the, in a sense, he's a good 24th guy to have. He yeah. can play a bunch of positions and probably not more than 80 it's, or 90 it's games. It's just another one of those deals where you go, all right, again, low risk, high reward. Potential. You're not committing anything. Not that it's, high. It's, it's not prohibiting you from doing anything. It's another Oliver Perez deal. It's another Millwood deal. It's one of those deals you look at and go, all right. <laughs> well, you know what it's about? It's about don't get on Jack Zarensic. It's, you know, he's not being given any money to spend. He's been given less money to spend. I mean, this is a minor league deal, obviously, on a, on a guy that, that's probably all it's worth at this point. But, you know, you, you hear about other names of other guys who, who would cost you money. And it doesn't, it doesn't seem like there's any reason to suspect that those guys are going to be on their radar. That there may be another minor league deal or two guy to make the team. <laughs> Johnny Damon, stuff like that. Forget about it. He's no Rod Bird's name. That's true too.